We're thrilled to welcome back the president of Factory 5 Racing, Dave Smith. And today, we're talking all about SEMA 2018. Yeah, it's great to be back, Katie. It's, uh, it's fun to be here, and SEMA's all about these cars. And the cars started out 25 years ago. It's been a hell of a ride. Yeah, no doubt about it. Before we even get to those gorgeous cars, tell us about that ride with Factory 5 Racing. Well, I mean, it was a bad idea to start with, but you know, you want to do something you love. And if you do that, you don't work a day in your life, and that's kind of what we did. But, you know, I worked at BU Medical School, and I learned CAD, and I worked in the medical industry. And back in the day, hand-built cars were handmade. The tooling was handmade, plasma cut and stuff. So we incorporated kind of laser cutting, CNC technology, CAD from the very beginning all the way to the end. So the cars are still built by hand by customers at home, but they use modern technology to do it. And we know that SEMA really is a place that everyone showcases new cars and big news comes out of there. There's some big news for Factory 5 Racing this year. What is it? Well, we started a year ago and Mike and Pat came out from Engine Power and we built first truck here. And for us, it was our 33 hot rod extended with a bed, a little more style, a beach cruiser. You know, we're known for race cars, right? And so we did the prototype with you guys and then a year later, we built over 100 hot rod trucks and we brought our production truck full fendered, supercharged from metal Brock, 691 horsepower, air conditioned. When I was loading off the truck, I had the windows up, the AC was on, I was getting cold. And that's <laughs> something that doesn't usually happen in a custom car. So yeah, it was big news for us. What kind of gearhead is a perfect candidate for a Factory 5 Racing? Well, someone who wants to build their own car is kind of natural. You know, you want to scratch that itch and building a Factory 5 does that. But, you know, we wanted a car that would kind of fill a different niche. We had this great 33 hot rod. It was doing well. We, we launched it at SEMA maybe eight years ago, 10 years ago and we wanted to build on that platform. So we did the truck, we did some other derivatives, but now we're kind of branching out in the hot rod business and having a lot more offerings with one chassis platform. Then Dave, we know SEMA is one of those places that everyone can expect to see unveiling of new cars. Factory 5 Racing, what's in store for this year? Well, we do it every year. We bring our best and our brightest, our latest and greatest. We brought the hot rod pickup truck. It was kind of our biggest news, but we had made a major investment in the hot rod line. So we went back to the drawing board and redesigned our 33. It's one of our best selling cars. We kind of made it bigger, faster, stronger. You know, guys want more space in these cars. It's one of the things we needed over time. And so we did that. Uh, we kept the frame rigidity, reworked the body, kind of made it an easier car to build, a little sleeker and, and kind of invested in that line. Well, Dave, we know one of the pride and joys that Auto Factory 5 Racing over the last couple of years has been the Cobra. What cool projects have you done with that recently? Well, I mean, everybody knows us by the Cobras, how we started the company, you know, it's kind of what we're famous for. And so we started working with Logano on a race car. The original Cobras were race cars. Logano built a car. Guys from Ford stepped up with an engine, BSF with a paint, a lot of our partners. We built a race car, and after that was built, it kind of segued into Joey saying, hey, I want to build a hot rod truck. And he gave us a NASCAR motor, so 900 horsepower in a truck. Yeah, it should make sense. Yeah. <laughs> One of the cars here filling up the studio is not like the other. That sleek Speedstar Coupe, it's awesome. Yeah, you know what? If someone is going to build a Cobra or a Coupe, a vintage design like that, we had their back. But we really needed to make a bigger footprint in the hot rod market. So we needed a really sexy body to leverage on our proven chassis. So we bought out Rest Glass Bodies, a storied company. The 33 Speedstar Coupe behind me, that same body won Riddler Award. I think it was 2004, but Riddler Award winning car, great designs. We bought the whole company lock, stock, and barrel, and that was kind of our third leg of our tripod to make sure that we had a kind of a, a bigger footprint in the hot rod market. So you bought the whole company. As it relates to models, how does that impact Factory 5 Racing? Well, the car I had my eye on was a Speedstar and the Coupe, but it comes as a Roadster too, and it has full fenders and no fenders, but they also have a really nice 32 Roadster. It's a high boy, it comes in a three window or a five window coupe. They've got a Vicky. I don't know if we'll do the Vicky, but we've got a kind of our selection of about 10 different models and all really stylized versions. George has done a great job with that company. He's a little older. He called me up and made a deal with him and uh, now we own the company. Factory 5 Racing is really growing. Congratulations and thanks again for coming to the studio. Appreciate it. It's always good to be here. It's good to build stuff with you guys.